Well, the Namibia Statistics Agency released its regular economic statistics on consumer price index for the month of November, gross domestic product and agriculture statistical report for the third quarter of 2022. Now, to give more details on the economic outlook, I'm joined by the senior statistician National Accounts, Titus Kamatuka. Good evening to you, Mr. Kamatuka, and thank you for being on, a, on the Daily Roundup. Good evening, ma'am. Thank you for having me on your show. So, Mr. Kamatuka, the economy recorded a negative growth of 4.3% compared to 6% in the previous quarter this year. Why is that the case? Yeah, just, just, just a, a, a point of correction, actually. Mm -hmm. The economy expanded. It expanded. By 4.3% mm -hmm. during this quarter. Right. Relative to 5.6% uh, uh, in the previous quarter. Right. So we are saying it's a slow growth, mm -hmm. but the economy still continues to expand. Yes. And what can we attribute uh, that expansion to? Yes. Uh, the major sectors that are expanding, uh, it's mining and quarrying sector, uh, also the sector of manufacturing. Mm. As you understand that uh, some of the mining uh, activities, you know, you just do the mining but there's beneficiation going on and it all flows into the manufacturing sector so this is also what is causing an increase in manufacturing and of course also uh, in terms of beer production there is quite an increase in beer production this is also flowing into our exports and so we are seeing all these activities going up in the economy right so the annual inflation rate is at an all-time high of uh, seven percent <coughs> compared to four percent am i correct uh, at this time last year so is this a crisis and uh, what are the main contributing factors yes uh i won't say it's it's an old time high but it's still mm -hmm. quite high right uh we recorded a 7.0 percent uh, in terms of the growth but if you look at it uh relative to last month it's slowing. Mm -hmm. So it still remains high when you compare it to last year. And of course, there are factors that is contributing to that increase. As you know, this year, uh, with the invention uh, uh, of uh, Ukraine by Russia, of course, mm -hmm. it has sent uh, uh, fuel prices way up. And as you can see, uh, we are seeing actually an increase in transport cost. And that is also uh, leading into the increase into the basket we are measuring. Uh, we are also observing increases in food inflation. Mm. And this is also uh, contributing to that 7.0%. Uh, but overall, I think this is good because, like I'm saying, it's slowing, mm. although it remains high. But one is, is able to see that the monetary policy in terms of the central bank, it's really having an impact. So prices are beginning to stabilize, and that is good for the economy. Of course, from the statistical office, we wish it can still go down. Mm -hmm. This can then support economic growth further. Right. Mm -hmm. So Namibia has subscribed to the special data dissemination standard of the International Monetary Fund. Briefly explain why such a development matters to us. Yes, uh, this is very, very important for Namibia. Uh, for the last almost more than 10 years, we have been subscribing or been part of the, uh, first we started with general dissemination data system. So these are for emerging markets with very limited uh, statistical data out there. Then we moved to the enhanced data, general data dissemination system. So it was a step further. Now we are part of the special data dissemination system. So this, uh, it's, it's all work in progress. And what that does is uh, it gives us access to capital market. Right. It, it sends a strong message that Namibia is ready to do business more, that uh, countries or investors should not view us as a risk. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in this special dissemination system, normally we make a lot of economic information available so that investors can make uh, you know, informed decisions investing in Namibia or buying bonds or government bonds and so on. So it sends a very good message actually. 
Are we seeing ourselves uh, moving up to other levels or is this the highest level that we can reach? Uh, this, in terms of the standards themselves, mm -hmm. there's also another uh, extra layer, mm -hmm. what they call SDS Plus. Mm -hmm. um, most of the countries that are subscribing to this one is mostly the advanced country right. and it's mostly to, monetary, to monitor the financial markets and so on. Mm -hmm. As you know, we had the financial crisis in 2009 and that led to this new standard being established. So as we keep also expanding our financial system and deepening it and broadening it, um, I'm hoping also in the future we can also lead to move to the next stage. Right. Um, Mr. Kamatuka, lastly, agriculture, which is widely regarded as one of the biggest employers uh, for the majority of Namibians, is still struggling to recover. Uh, does the recent uh, good rains uh, offer any help uh, for recovery, perhaps? Yes. Uh, of course, you, 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 you would have seen from uh, the economic performance, agriculture was one of the sectors that really declined by 14.2%. Uh, of course, that decline is, is uh, isolated in a sense that it was an external impact right. given the influence, uh, given the outbreak of FMD, foot and mouth disease, in South Africa. This was caused, so we're not able to market as many livestock as possible or even export to South Africa. But the good trains uh, uh, really offer a good hope right. in terms of uh, farmers, I'm sure now they are going out to plant know, till the fields, make them ready for next year. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it, it gives a, a glimmer of hope, honestly, and it's good for the sector. Right. Not just for agriculture, but also for the sector of water, of electricity, you know, power. We need water, yes. the water exactly. sector, to the farmers, we need water and so on. So it's good for everybody, eventually. Exactly. Well, oh, Mr. Kamatuka, I must thank you so much uh, for speaking to us this evening, and uh, we certainly wish only for the best at this time of the year. Thank you for having me and we wish, we, we wish honestly for the growth to continue and I think it's gonna continue expanding. Thank you for having me on your show. That's good news. Well, of course, uh, the uh, senior statistician national accounts, Mr. Titus Kamatuka, joining us there this evening for that interview. Well, the global news roundup is coming up next, so don't go too far.